My name is Marvin Hunt, and um, I am very thankful that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, that I've accepted him as my Lord and Savior, and that he has brought me out of a relationship that just wasn't good, and that was a bad relationship, to where I can show my kids a different way of living instead of an old way that I used to live, and I am very thankful for that. Hey. Amen. Church, are you thankful for Marvin and his, his family? Yeah. In obedience to your command, O God, it's now my honor to baptize this my brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. This is Taveridge. This is Marvin's son. I'm thankful for these young men that are faithful to the house of God. They love Awanas. I've had the privilege to teach them downstairs in the summertime. And uh, I'm just thankful that God has softened this young man's heart. He's accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior. Now it's my honor to baptize them, him as my brother. All right. In obedience to your command, O God, I now baptize this my brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I've had mental illness all my life since 1979 when I started my first treatment at 17. I know those treatment programs, those therapy programs inside and out. But it wasn't until I decided to join this church and turn my life over to Jesus Christ where those addictions categorized as in remission. Those disorders are in remission. No medication. This is my new family. And I'm going to be here. Thank God for salvation. Amen. Amen. In obedience to your command, O oh God, I now baptize this my brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I just want to share with, with y'all, uh, a couple weeks ago, the uh, spirit was stirring in me and told me to write, just start writing. And uh, so I sat at the table with my pen and I said, okay, Jesus, the pen's yours. What do I write? And the thing that came to my mind is to tell me why you believe. So I wrote, so I just want to share it with y'all, why I believe. For me, this is an easy question to answer. I believe because he saved my life. He literally took me away from death's grips and turned my life around. He, has, tu he has, has touched every aspect of my life. He is truly supernatural in nature, and his grace is overwhelming to me. His son and I have an amazing relationship together. We are brothers in arms against the world. His is always good and always has my back. He is always good and always has my back. The more time I, we spend with each other, the stronger I become in his ways. Because of his love for me, I can now say I love my life and my life with him. He gives me so much inside that it overflows on the outside. For some, it may be hard to believe that anything could change a person this much, but I'm here today to say that it has happened to me. The day I opened my heart, truly believed, and called his name, he answered. My life has not been the same since. I am so thankful for the new life I have been given and I am truly excited to meet my Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Excuse me while I shout for just a minute. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for salvation. In obedience to your command, O God, I now baptize this my brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is Chris, who was just baptized his son, and about six weeks ago, uh, Chris came into church beaming from ear to ear, and he told me that he had the privilege to lead his son to Christ uh, during the week, that week, and uh, his son was saved and is now ready to be baptized. He's a follower of Jesus Christ. There's been an inward change, and now he's ready to make the outward commitment, so uh, we're here to baptize him, and so 
In obedience to your command, O God, I now baptize this my brother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Jenny Britt. I've been back in here crying like a ball baby. Um, I'm Chris's wife and Kevin's stepmom. I just want to say I want all glory to be to God. And I thank him for giving me so much grace and mercy and saving me and my marriage and my family. And I just thank him for all the blessings and miracles, literal supernatural miracles that he's performed. You know, Acts 16, 31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved, and your household. Salvation has shown up to this entire household. And uh, little Jacob, he's one years old, and uh, he's my little preacher man that comes up on the front row. While I'm preaching, sometimes he's preaching right back at me, just <laughs> praising the Lord. But I'm so thankful for this family. I love them. They are special to me, and I just thank the Lord for this opportunity. In obedience to your command, O God, I now baptize this my sister in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. 